hi friends welcome again to queen's kitchen today's recipe which i'm going to share with you is uh, cauliflower and potato stir fry it's really really famous um, one of the vegetables which is eaten with rotis or rice or non bread back home and uh, very simple to make not not so many ingredients to go within so let's go to the recipe and have the, have a look at how to make cauliflower and potato stir fry For making cauliflower and potato stir fry, I'm taking some mustard oil in a pan and heat the mustard oil really well and you can see the smoke is coming out. So we'll just simmer the flame for a little while and before we add our dry ingredients. So first of all, I'm adding some cumin seeds followed by some carob seeds, some split coriander seeds and some asafoetida. And then I'm adding some chopped green chilies and chopped ginger, followed by some tomato, canned tomatoes, diced tomato, but you can also use fresh or tomato puree to it. Mix all these together very well. And now we will add rest of the spices, which includes our uh, paprika some garam masala and some turmeric powder and last is salt to taste mix all these together and wait until oil separates so it's a very quick recipe of cauliflower and potato stir fry which is really good to eat with rice or rotis or naan bread so I'm adding uh, cauliflower and potato pieces to it which I washed them properly and cut them in small pieces as you can see and mix all these together and we coat that uh, tempering to all of this and now we have to cook our cauliflower and it, it gets tender. So cooking cauliflower and potatoes I'll sim the flame and I'm covering it with the lid and after 10-15 minutes you can see our uh, cauliflower and potatoes are, are very soft and I'm just adding a squeeze of lemon to it. You can also use a fresh lemon but I'm just using lemon squeeze and give it a good stir one more time and our cauliflower and potato stir fry is all ready to go and it's very very delicious and yummy food and you can see it's um, uh, very it's I'm using barely any ingredients to make it as well it's very flavorful try it at home garnish with some green coriander and green chilies enjoy it make it at home I'll see you soon with another recipe until then goodbye